Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between a base currency and a quote currency on cryptocurrency exchanges. As you can see here, I've loaded up my Shrimpy application and I've navigated to the trading tab. This is where we can see individual order books and trading pairs for assets on the exchange. Right now, I am looking at the Litecoin USDT trading pair on Binance. On the left hand side over here, we have the order books. In the middle, we have a chart of the price over time. And on the right side, we have the trade history. The trade history are the individual trades that have been executed on the exchange over time. When we're talking about the base currency and the quote currency, we can start by looking at the asset pair right here. For the LTC USDT trading pair, LTC would be the base currency and USDT would be the quote currency. One of the reasons that USDT is called the quote currency is because Litecoin is priced in terms of USDT. In other words, Litecoin is quoted in terms of USDT. And you can see that here on the order book. The price of Litecoin is determined by USDT. So for example, somebody might place an order to sell Litecoin for the price of 55.61 USDT. In other words, $55.61. So if we select a different trading pair here, we can go to Bitcoin, for example, and we can have a base currency of, let's go with, dash, you can see that BTC is now the quote currency and dash is the base currency. So we will be quoting dash in terms of Bitcoin. So you can see the price of dash here that people are placing orders at on the order book. And these are all in terms of Bitcoin. So they are not in terms of dash, they're in terms of Bitcoin. And you can see the size of the dash order on the left side over here and the total also in Bitcoin. Just to recap briefly, dash would be the base currency and Bitcoin would be the quote currency. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. The Shrimpy team has put together a number of videos like this, which are focusing on educational topics. If you have interest in learning more about cryptocurrency trading, how order books work, how trade history works, or how cryptocurrency price charts work, those will all be included in the description below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always happy to help. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.